Uh, hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for um, August 2023. We're just going to jump right in here, uh, Virgo, and we are going to see what is going on for you at this time. You have this networker card. It says networking can help you grow your money. I mean, do I need to say more? Probably not. <laughs> you have this growth card. It says expect good money flow, a raise or new job offer. Uh, it's important to unlearn and grow. Uh, unlearn to grow as rules continue to morph and change. Yes, I think that every single earth sign reading I did, the um, last set of bonus readings I did, which were like the five, I can't remember, five tips from your future self to change your life. Every single earth sign had something about, you know, doing something to, you know, work on money blocks or, um, you know, abundance blocks or anything like that. And like I always say, there's tons of free advice on YouTube about how to do that. So just Google it, <laughs> you know, YouTube it basically. And, you know, I, I would come up with something to do like some sort of activity or like journaling or scripting or, you know, something like that to kind of overcome any lack mentality, which we see right here. And this could be in love as well. Uh, I also feel that networking, again, I do feel like networking could be very, very good for you. I mean, you have the Eight of Wands as well, as well. And, you know, the Eight of Wands is my card of socializing, but it could be like benefits from other people. So anything you can do to work together with other people or to, um, you know, team up with other people, I feel would be really, really good for you here. Uh, I do feel like some of you are feeling lonely at this time right here. Um, or you're in this position of wondering if you're going to have this right here, you're happily ever after. I feel like that this is when it comes in. <laughs> really, uh, what I feel for you is that, you know, sometimes when we get to this point where I'm not saying you're like resigned to the fact that you're going to be single, but, you know, I do feel for some of you that you're kind of like, okay, well, maybe I'm never going to find a person or whatever. And it's like, that's when they always show up. So there could be love coming in. Uh, this last row is the good stuff. So it doesn't matter that the tower came up. The tower came up in reverse as well if you noticed so uh, i really wouldn't worry too much about that we're gonna get we're gonna get to that point when we get there but um you have the page of cups the queen of wands and the fool showing up in your first position again um you know there could be love coming in for you very quickly you have the eight of wands to the ten of cups which is you know happy home happy family with the ten of cups but the ten of cups is also fortune after difficulty so there could be communication uh, from a person who thinks you're very attractive. It doesn't matter what gender you are. Again, the Page of Cups can just be an admirer. The, pa the Queen of Wands, I feel, is just saying you're very attractive at this time or you're just standing out in some way. And uh, so, yeah, that could be a good thing for you, Virgo. Definitely could be attracting new love. Um, you know, it could be any sign, uh, but yeah, uh, Scorpio stands out to me so far and fire. That's about it. But, <laughs> you know, we'll see as we go along and clarify. The Queen of Wands is also... Uh, been showing up for everyone in these readings. So the Queen of Wands, or I think I said Queen of Cups, but Queen of Wands is a card of, you know, being bold, being assertive, really, really going towards what you want. Not just kind of dipping your toes in the water, right? But diving in, you know, doing a belly flop cannonball into the deep end, you know, really going for something. And, um, you know, that's kind of what she does. And we see that right here. You have the, uh, the Fool card. The Fool is about kind of taking that big leap of faith. I actually feel that you are over-prepared for something. You see he has that tiny little sack on his back there, right here, and it kind of represents the fact that he's about to go through the entire major arcana. He's about to go on this really long journey, but he has everything he needs right here. He's got all the information right between his two ears. So I feel for a lot of you, there is, you have that growth card that says growth on it, and so I feel like there is a lot of growth coming in for you. Um, but it's coming through work that you have done already or, you know, work that you are about to do. I, that card also says uh, you're delaying your growth. The process of healing is worth doing. So, again, if you need to heal, then I would definitely go through your healing as well. Let's see. With the Page of Cups, you have the Knight of Pentacles. You know, this, I don't like this. Um, you know, to me, the Knight of Pentacles is slow as molasses. So, you know, this could be a person. Uh, it could be another sign. Uh, who's moving very slowly, or it could be, you know, again, if you're approaching a person, take it how it resonates, um, you know, it could be, move, you know, could move a lot faster. So, you know, I feel like things need to get going. Uh, having said that, we do have Venus retrograde this month and in, into September 3rd. So, you know, I wouldn't, and also we have uh, Mercury retrograde on August 23rd. So I wouldn't necessarily like rush into anything at this time. 
I always tell people, don't let astrology or tarot, for that fact, control your life. To me, loose guidance at best. To me, tarot is not a prison sentence. So, and, and astrology is not a prison sentence. I always tell people, live your life. And, you know, it's like, you know, trust, there t I've heard tons of readers say like, oh my God, don't do this, don't do that. And I'm always like, okay, well, if you if you are going to be that particular about astrology, then let me see my, let me see your chart. Because guess what? I will point out every single little thing that you shouldn't do. And basically you would end up living in a bubble if you followed astrology, how you're supposed, you know, how you're supposed to right so i always tell people live your life date people and guess what just realize that you know yeah it's a retrograde and maybe things will change after the retrograde that could be a good thing right plain and simple with the here you go with the queen of wands you have the two of cups definitely love could be uh, definitely could be there's a lot of attraction here so very strong connection this to me would definitely suggest communication the two of cups and the eight of wands uh, two of Cups has this, there's normally the uh, Staff of Hermes in between the two people, which is Mercury, which is communication. So there could, this could be something that starts out as communication as well, where maybe you just start talking to each other. You know, it could just be as friends as well. Eight of Wands, you know, Eight of Wands is kind of like a card of friendship or socializing. It's a card of social media as well. It could be a person you meet on social media and it just starts out as talking. And again, probably not necessarily a bad thing right now, right? Just like I said, all these retrogrades. So just like take your time and see what happens. Uh, with the fool, you have the ace of cups. I don't know. <laughs> you're you're like a fool in love here. So it looks to me like you will take this risk. You know, especially if a person is taking a leap of faith towards you. I don't really like this right here, the three of swords. So, you know, that, that suggests to me that someone needs to heal. Uh, this up here could tell me uh, or could tell you that someone needs to heal. And whether it's you or them, uh, I don't care. I kind of feel like it's both of you need to heal. So if you, you know, again, it's like if you're attracting a person who has been through something similar to you and you both need to heal, take the time to heal, obviously. Or or just take your time is what I would say. Don't like rush into anything. Uh, next you have this card that says, waste of your time. Nothing will come of it. Don't ignore the red flags. Yes, if there are red flags in a situation, then I would say, don't waste your time. You have a springtime card. It says, things are beginning to bloom. New beginnings, rebirth, growth. The answer lies in newness. So yes, if there's a past person coming back, it's a waste of time. If there's a new person, then not a waste of time. So that's what I feel like this is kind of getting at here. Um, again, as I've said to others, uh, this Venus retrograde, one thing I will say, is that it, it, there is this element of it, you know, this particular Venus retrograde is a little bit toxic. So it could bring back like toxic lovers. If you if you have had anyone toxic in the past, it could bring back toxic, you know, situations and things like that as well. Um, and, you know, it could also bring back people who like think they deserve closure, but they don't, you know what I mean? It's like if they left you and they're coming back for their own reasons, you know, for their own purposes, it's kind of like selfish, right? <laughs> so, you know, th those are the types of things that we could run into with this Venus retrograde that we're basically in. You know, today is the 21st, so it's happening, it's starting tomorrow, but, you know, basically might as well be right now. Um, or you're going to be watching this on the 22nd, so never mind. Um, you know, it, we're already in the Venus retrograde, but... Um, you know, again, it's like, does someone, I don't think there, you know, if someone did you super dirty, I think there's nothing, it's like, we, you don't owe that person anything. And I feel that this row is kind of saying that, like, you don't owe someone something. I would also be careful of this right here, of being stuck like this. You know, it's like, I understand this energy. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. So just bear with me for a second here, Virgo. But it's almost like if you um, can see your ex doing something in life, for example, for whatever reason, maybe you have children with them and, you know, you can see how their life is going or whatever, maybe they're on social media or you follow each other or whatever it's like i feel this energy of you like seeing them um you know doing things in life and you know it's like maybe they did you dirty <laughs> and you're like why is their life going so well you know but i feel like you're both doing the same thing to each other that might only be for like one of you out there but so take it how it resonates but um if you're doing that number one i would say stop just release it it's like you know i think we have to truly release exes and just not care um, it's not that we don't care about their life i i always say like i'm i'm not coming back to earth right I, this is my last time here so you know get your fill now people but what i would say is i'm not coming back right so i anytime i have a breakup i'm like i i'm like i don't want i don't want to see them get karma i don't want them to get karma i don't want anything i don't care what they did to me i just want to release it just plain and simple right um and again i feel like if you could just release it that will bring that will bring you out of the cold which you have this five of pentacles like especially if you're feeling left out in the cold that's what i'd say there for the rest of you do not call attention to your weaknesses we are in a time where everything that exists is going to 
uh, you know, point out the, like the tiny little things that maybe exist where we feel like it's a weakness. When you think about it, right? Um, you know, like th there's been a bunch of studies about social media, for example, how it's made people super self-conscious because they see these, you know, things that, um, they, you know, they see these uh, kind of caricatures of what exists. You know what I mean? It's like people only show their best light on social media. So it's caused a bunch of these um, problems with how people see, see themselves, right? And so again, we are, th th this is the time that we are living in. Like, why do you think this is happening? It's because of the astrology. So your job is to not call attention to your weaknesses. You're probably being overly critical of things that you feel like you're not good at or places, you know, obviously if you see some sort of 12 year old on Instagram, who's like flashing, you know, fat stacks of money, then you might be saying like, damn, I am a loser. But the truth is maybe the money is fake, right? I posted a picture of me with a stack of fake money, I don't know, like three months ago, right? In my, on my community tab. And I had so many people that were like, oh, you shouldn't be bragging. You should be doing this. And I was holding the money like this, right? And I had my finger on it. <laughs> And it, and it was pointing to the the uh, the part on the money that said this is for uh, entertainment purposes only or whatever. It, it says like cinema money or something like that on it. But it's just funny to me that I, I also put in the post how people should not trust anything that they see. The whole point, point of the post was uh, the astrology and how we shouldn't trust certain things that we see. And um, I still had people, a million people that are like, you're bragging and all this other stuff. And I'm like, I'm like literally pointing to the uh, the words that say fake money on it, right? So again, we are living in this time of fake. We are living in this time where most of the things you see might not be real. So your job is to completely ignore it. It's not even a, it's not even like a judgment thing. You know what I mean? It's like some of the things might be real. There might be a 12 year old that makes fat stacks out there. I'm sure there is, but your job is to not even worry about it. Your job is to make your own fat stacks and just worry about yourself, right? And that's what I feel like this row is talking about for some reason. It, when you do that, you will be super successful very quickly. And it doesn't even have to be money. This could be anything that you wanna create in your life. You know, eight of wands is quick success or quick conclusions. But here's the thing, traditionally, the eight of wands was the, your arrows of love, meaning you're like telling the universe what you want and love, the universe is responding. Uh, you know, I'd say Esther Hicks calls it your rockets of desire. You're telling you, the universe what you want, the universe is responding. Most people don't listen. <laughs> Most people say to the universe, oh, I want fat stacks, or oh, you know, I want love, or I want this, X, Y, and Z. And so you really have to follow your inspirations. And we see right here, this page of wands, the page of wands, it, he moves towards things that inspire him. He moves towards things that excite him. He moves towards things that make him excited. And again, this is the time we're in. We really need to move towards inspirations. That's where all the success is gonna come from. You have the three of swords here. Three of swords, of course, can be a separation. I do feel like some of you, it's like, I don't, you have this, this, this. I don't know if there, it, I, I don't know that it's necessarily regrets. I'm not, getting the word regrets here as far as love is concerned, but you know, there might be some feelings about a past person that need to be healed from. With the five of pentacles, you have the two of pentacles, you can choose what you focus on, right? Two of pentacles, he's got those, he's juggling two things, but he could choose to focus on just one thing and he could choose to be more successful if he did that. With the eight of wands, you have the king of wands. Yep, here you go. This right here is a perfect match, king and queen of wands someone who's very attracted to you. I, again, I love the King and Queen of Wands coming up together as love because it's like two people who really desire to be with each other. They're both visionaries as well. So, you know, you could be attracting a person where it, you both have these ideas about the future, about your future life. So definitely could be a new connection coming in for you. Uh, I would also say that I am just getting visionary energy. So, <laughs> you know, if you have any new ideas, like that springtime card says, the answer lies in newness. I've been saying this for, you know, since 2016, you know, I constantly say the word newness, um, you know, where I constantly tell people to do what is new. And people are always saying, you always say, do what is new. And I'm always like, why haven't you done it yet? <laughs> why haven't you worked on something new yet? Why haven't you created that new YouTube channel or written that new book or just gotten started on that thing you want to get started on? That's where the success is. With the uh, Three of Swords, you have the High Priestess. I feel you could be intuitively connected to a person. And again, if you need to do some cord cutting rituals or anything like that, I would definitely do that. This is also the card of potential. And you know, that's what I will say is sometimes I think we fall in love with a person's potential. We don't fall in love with the actual person, right? And um, that is kind of toxic as well. Um, and I'm not calling you out here, Virgo. I've done it, right? Where it's like I've fall in love with a person and it's just like, it's not, I haven't really fallen in love with them. I fall in love with my idea of them, my idea of what they could be, right? And that might not even exist. So I don't really feel like, trust me, like I said, I've done it, we've all done it. And I don't think it's really fair to do that to a person. So 
You know what I mean? It's like one of those things where I kind of get this feeling here of having fall, fallen in love with the, poten the potential and not the actual person. But again, this could be a lesson that you've clearly learned because you have all these cards that would represent healing. Uh, next in the area of the unexpected, you have this card that says, follow your heart. Um, following your heart will lead you to the right things. There you go. You have this card that says, you're stepping into your highest divine life path. Yes, clearly there are good things coming in for you. You have the five of cups, the page of wands and the 10 of cups. The five of cups is about gratitude. He has these two cups behind him. And I always say when he sees these two cups, he gets this bridge in this castle. So the five of cups isn't just, uh, oh, stand there and cry. The five of cups says, turn around, be grateful. And then you, something new will enter in, into your life. And, you know, it's funny. If we go here, if he were to turn around, he would see the tower here. But again, the tower is coming up in the good stuff. So this could be a good thing. The tower, you know, in the area of the good stuff could represent like an aha moment, a light bulb moment, a sudden realization. It did come up in reverse. The tower in reverse would represent avoiding a tower moment. I actually prefer the tower upright. And I know that sounds crazy. I'm not a big fan of the tower in reverse because usually the tower in reverse says you're avoiding a tower moment, but sometimes we need to have a tower moment. Uh, the whole point of the tower is that those people have been stuck in that tower. They've been ignoring reality. They're being brought back down to reality. So again, that's why sometimes I don't, in, unless... Unless you avoiding tower the tower moment is because you saw reality, <laughs> I don't like the tower in reverse because um, sometimes it can represent just like extending a tower moment, if that makes sense. But, you know, what I would say is I kind of feel like this is you seeing some, like, you know, getting some answers even, you know, showing up in the good stuff. It, it could say being grateful for what you have will give you the answers as to why you had a tower moment, like with a person or why a situation didn't work out. You have the Page of Wands. I feel you're just ready for a new adventure. Even here, we have the Queen of Swords right next to him. The Queen of Swords, she only has clouds halfway up her body. And it kind of represents the fact that she it finally sees clearly for the first time. She finally, you know, has some answers. She's open to the truth. And she's finally opening up to maybe something new entering into her life. So there you go. You have the Ten of Cups, which is like fortune after difficulty. I love the Ten of Cups. Um, you know, it could be happy home, happy family, but sometimes I just feel that it is fortune after difficulty, something good happening to you after a difficult period of time, which is what I feel for you. With the Five of Cups, you have the Three of Wands. What are you waiting for? Three of Wands is like, you know you need to make a move <laughs> and you're not. So I feel like you know that there's like some sort of move that you need to make. And I would really encourage you to like take a leap of faith or for you to like do something that you want to do. That's what I feel like is going on there. Uh, with the Page of Wands, you have the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is some sort of risk uh, that you need to take. Again, more breakup energy here, of course, but also um, the Five of Swords could just be you taking some sort of risk or needing to take a risk, um, which is kind of what I feel. Uh, even the, the Tower could be you choosing to have a Tower moment. It could be you choosing to leave something behind, right? And uh, the Five of Swords could be that risk that you're taking. Uh, you know, I would say it was definitely a tower moment, this right here, this breakup in the past. With the Ten of Cups, you have the Emperor here. Yep, um, it could be an Aries coming in for you, going this way here, uh, if you are looking for love. But the Emperor would be like a real boss. Uh, like, I, I was getting visionary energy. And again, if you don't want love, I feel like this is you. I feel like you are kind of having these um, these ideas about the future. I really feel you need to trust these ideas about the future is what I would say to you. I feel like these are great ideas <laughs> that you have. I feel like these are good ideas that you have about the future. And I really feel um, that you need to kind of like move towards those ideas um, because we all do right now. But, you know, again, I feel you could ha be having these visionary ideas about like how to improve your business or whatever. And I would do it. Um, you have uh, in this row, sorry, and I actually didn't want to do that, but you have this grasshopper spirit. I love this card. It says, take a leap of faith. You have this groundhog spirit says time to let go. I mean, what are we, what are, we've been saying this the whole time. I didn't even notice that. And, you know, I feel it's time for you to let go of something. Uh, the grasshopper is a very lucky card as well. It says take a leap of faith. So you're like leaping into the future. You're leaping towards something that is going to bring a lot of success into your life. And that's exactly what I would do here. I would take a leap towards things that make you grow, things that make you feel happy, things that, um, you want to take a leap on. You have the Tower, the Queen of Swords, the Five of Swords. Oh, I didn't even notice you have the Five of Swords twice in the moon. Again, this is going to be good no matter what. It could be a blessing in disguise as well. This could say that you've had a blessing in disguise in the sense that if you lost a relationship or something along those lines, that it actually was a blessing and uh, not a bad thing. So I do feel that. I would pay attention. To, I would pay attention to any 
you know, aha moments you have, any sudden realizations, any of those moments where you're like, I know what to do now, or you have like a light bulb moment, I would pay attention to those moments. Uh, with the Queen of Swords, I feel you finally see things clearly in your life. So I feel like you need to trust your vision and uh, trust the things you're seeing. I also feel it's saying it's safe for you to open up. You know, she has her hand out and she's willing to receive. So I feel you need to be willing to receive like something new, like a new connection or something like that. You have the moon and the five of swords. Again, the moon, I, I feel like this is you taking a risk to step into the unknown. The moon can represent fears, anxiety, illusions, fantasies, things like that, but it is showing up in the good stuff. So, you know, I feel that, in, again, the moon to me represents the unknown. It's But there's a path straight down the middle of the moon. So it kind of says there's some sort of path that you want to take or some sort of journey you want to go on in your life. And I would like start, you know, start getting on that path, <laughs> move, move, move in these new directions, right? Uh, with the tower, you have the sun. Yes, a lot of happiness coming in for you, a lot of joy. Again, this is obviously a good tower. This would further the message of this being a light bulb moment for sure. With the queen of swords, here you go. You have the star, fame and fortune right here. This right here is fame and fortune. Doesn't mean you're gonna become famous, but it can represent a lot of attention, a lot of success coming in for you, a lot of happiness. So I feel there's like a lot of happiness here um, because you're getting positive attention. With the five of swords and the moon, you have the four of pentacles. Four of pentacles is also a lot of stability. So I do feel there could be a lot more stability coming into your life, especially in things that you are working on or working towards, right? Uh, um, let's see, we're gonna pull that. Uh, we're gonna pull five main themes. You have this torch card, it says spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. We see major this right here, this going this direction here. Like I said, I feel that potential thing. I feel you are no longer saying like, oh, the the I, this is the potential of this thing. It doesn't even have to be love. You know, potential could exist in anything. And I feel this, it's not stopping you from doing anything, which I like, um, you know, it, but it's like, you're no longer just counting on the potential of something. You know what I mean? It, uh, I don't know, I hope that makes sense. That's what I'm getting here. You have this finger card, it says, uh, warning you of a problem either now or in the future. I don't really see any problems here. You do have that tower. Again, it could say that, you know, with the sun, if you become enlightened to some sort of issue, don't ignore it, you know, pay attention to it. Uh, you have this gossip card that says, someone will gossip about you and all your secrets. I say, let them talk. Again, to me, I don't care. If, I love when people talk about me. Like someone, years ago, I don't even know what happened to it, but someone did some sort of like hate video on me, uh, you know, like another reader, right? And I loved it. <laughs> I was like, they, they sent me like 2,000 new subscribers or something like that. I'm like, it's the best thing that ever happened to me so, at the time. So, you know, again, if people are talking about you, who cares? Uh, you have this broken uh, ring card. It says, um, you know, parting of the ways in either romance or business. So again, we definitely saw some sort of breakup or separation in this reading. Uh, you have this fear, um, a fair man card. It says dealing with relationships with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. And then you have this career card. So this could be in your career or in your business that you're dealing with this person. I want to see what this card says. Well, there you go. Yeah, uh, I feel like this person either has ideas for you or um, is giving you ideas or helping you in some way. So it could be a person, doesn't have to be a man either. It could be any gender of person that's helping you. Uh, this could also just be you increasing your wealth. Again, you have the growth card with these, with this like money on it, with something growing, a little tree, sapling, whatever you want to call it, growing out of it. So, <laughs> you know, there you go. It looks like you're increasing your wealth and you have the sun, the star. Yeah, this looks really good here, Virgo. Um, so love it. Thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.